Honourable Wake is a gold and top to Conning and top to Pringle uh, for giving us uh, their time here this evening. Minister, I welcome this uh, uh, legislation, certainly do, and I hope its, its passage is, is, is not impeded in any shape, make or form, because it's a ridiculous situation of, you know, where Gardaí are into the line of duty and that they often, sometimes, as much, if not more, is paid out in legal fees uh, to uh, legal firms as to, as to the compensation that the people who deserve the compensation. And I want to condemn out of hand uh, the, the incident some time ago on the border area where a guy that was uh, lured down a uh, 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 um, uh, Borheen and on his own and got an awful um, experience from, from, from Togus, as you can call him. And I saw where, uh, just a news report where uh, um, root, um, er, uh, intruders or robbers broke into a house in, I think it's Wexford. And when they found out during the course of the robbery that it was a guard, uh, she can't remember, owned the house, they did a particular out of their way to damage and destroy it. And there's no place for that kind of tuggery and no place for that kind of um, attack and undermining of the Gaddish economy. Because the vast, vast majority of Gaddish economy that I've ever dealt with have been impeccable and worked to serve their community, serve their people without fear or favour. And in that instance, I'd like to pay tribute to um, Sergeant Ray Maloney, who has just has been a huge addition to the Cave Castle uh, district over the last number of years. But he has transferred and uh, with a lovely function organised by uh, the community last Sunday, down in Shikata, uh, in Cardinesi, Cato's House Hotel. Uh, a nice tribute to, to Sergeant Maloney for the work he did in community policing. Now, he was assisted by Gada Ginny Goff and by, and by uh, Gada Nord Lavin and, and many others, some of Miss Ginny, Ginny, uh, Ginny Davern and Julie Davern and some others. But we need that sergeant replaced. I know we're getting two replacements, but we need one in the community. He was, uh, no police force in the world can police without the support of the, uh, of the, of the public. And that has to be nurtured and minded and taught in, and the visits to the schools. And the late Gardner Nile O'Hanlon, Sergeant Nile O'Hanlon, was an awful loss to our community. And he was visited the schools and indeed bring the fifth and sixth classes to Temple Moor to encourage him maybe to be, uh, chose a career in a Goddard corner. And he was taken from his wife and fa son and his family at a very young age um, to illness. And um, he, as I said, he was lost. But Sergeant Maloney, we wish him well. Seven in Dorlasela, but we want to have the community numbers strengthened. But we also need a, Gattis, a new Gaddis station plan mail. I believe you're coming to Clan Mail tomorrow, I'm Arak, I think. Uh, I'm coming to Tipperary anyway. Look, several ministers have seen, and Taoiseach have seen the Clan Mail Gaddis station. It's the Kinsian. It's, it's, it's a desperate condition. And we've been in, it's been raised here for, I think, nine and 50 years, if not more, long before I ever thought about politics. And you'll see for yourself, if you, if you visit, it's just not suitable as a function gas station. It's a county council, an old building, but it's leased, and it's just not <laughs> practical. And we have been in different packages and different bundles with different towns around the country. Some have fell off the package. We're still in the bundle of three. But now, for some strange, bizarre, <coughs> um, unknown reason, we've been linked in with some court uh, project. Uh, bill. So I do, I happen to know, and I have that much experience, that the people who build gas stations the contracts I'm talking about, you have a specific uh, skill set. And the courts buildings are different kinds of skill sets completely. So putting that into a bundle to three, to two or three gas stations with the courts buildings is nonsense. This is only delaying tactic as stalking horses as far as I'm concerned, because there are wholly different uh, functionality uh, in, in the building and a whole different ambience and appearance and everything is different about it. So I, I, I'd love to see the three gas stations being allowed to pro progress. We have the site we didn't have for years. We have planning permission. And um, um, the size of the old army valley, so we just need to go ahead. We can't be torn and tying it up anymore with, with, with delays. I also want to um, as, 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 um, say that, um, look, if Gary get injured in the line of duty, and they have done, and they face all kinds of situations, they don't know when they get a 999 call, any kind of distress call, what they're going to uh, be, find at, at, when they arrive on the scene. And we need numbers, like we need them in Clan Mel, Carrick and Shore. The care district was never a scarce in numbers, so we need them. We're also in danger of uh, this new plan of uh, finding less superintendents and one chief for two counties. We're going to have one chief, and I wish, and an excellent chief, uh, Derry Smart, at the moment in Cashel, chief superintendent doing a great job. But now the next chief would probably have to cover Limerick, 
Um, no, no, clear, anti -prodone. And you have to go to Limerick to get to clear. It's, it's bizarre. It, distance alone, it, it could take you two hours to travel from, from, from one part to the other. So it's just not tenable. And I ask you to review that situation because it's penny pension and it's, it's, it's not serving the people. They are there to serve the people. They do serve the people. They want to serve the people. But they must be supported as well. Not go call like Kayla. That's what I, I say. And as I said, the, the any police force can't uh, perform the duty without support of the public. Mullen and Owen, you have chuggy sheet. Mullen and Dean, I'll chuggy sheet freshen. Good morning, good.